Over trading is a termite that devours your trading system inside out right in front of your eyes. And while most people have this termite in their system, they are not aware of it. For the very few who realize that they are over trading, deny to accept it. And because it feels very natural to punch 8 to 10 trades in a day, it is very hard to understand what is the boundary that defines over trading. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Shreesh here from Trading Explained. And in today's video, we are going to understand what exactly is over trading and how we can control it. So without any further ado, let's begin. Over trading literally means excess of trading. And in my words, I like to define over trading as something when you break your self discipline and start punching random orders when your setup is not even telling you to trade. Now, as far as I have observed, I have seen that people do over trading for these two major reasons. The number one reason being they are in a hurry to make money. And the number two reason is they are addicted to trading. So there are other reasons, of course, but as far as I have seen, these are the major two reasons why people over trade. And we will understand these reasons in this video because that is where the answer to how to control over trading lies. So let's understand the first point. People are in a hurry to make money. So let me ask you one question. I hope you all know Sachin Tendulkar. So if I ask you if Sachin played cricket for so long, I guess 24 years or something, did he play for so long in order to make money or in order to follow his passion? What would your answer be? It probably has to be the second one to follow his passion. If I ask you the greatest tennis player Roger Federer, why is he playing tennis for so long in order to be famous, in order to make money or in order to follow the sport that he loves? Basically means passion again. Again, the answer has to be to follow his passion. So why is it that despite knowing all these things, we prefer to run behind the money and ignore all other things at once. If you see these legendary people, all of them have one trait in common, if not more, and that is to ignore money completely and just focus and follow their passion. But we normal people, common people cannot do that. We are just focused on the outcomes rather than the process. But we have to understand that until and unless we focus on the process, the outcome is not going to be good. So we need to focus on the process to get a good outcome. Outcome is just a distraction. So again, let's come back to the question. Because when you are in a hurry to make money, trust me, markets are even in a more hurry than you are to take money back from you. So money cannot be made in one day. No player or no uh, legendary person who has ever achieved some a uh, feat in his life has done it in one day. So it takes time. You have to understand that no matter how many trades you punch, it is impossible to make money in one day or even one week or even one month or even one year. Great greatness. Basically, we talk about it takes time. It is not achieved in some days, few weeks or even few years. It takes a long time. And that is what you need to understand that punching 20 trades or 30 trades or even 40 trades a day is not going to make you rich. So you need to follow your setup and uh, you must have observed this thing that the more you trade, the less money you end up making while the lesser you trade, the more money you end up making. Now, this is because when you trade, you keep exhausting your mental uh, process. You keep exhausting yourself mentally uh, on every particular trade. So when I hit for my first trade, I will lose 5% of my mental power. Just to give you an example, when I hit second trade, it will consume more of my mental power. When I uh, hit third, fourth and fifth trade, it will continuously take my mental power and uh, it keeps me exhausting all the time. So if you are punching 20 trades a day, just imagine what you are, uh, you are, you are at the point of uh, when you are punching that 20th trade in that particular day, you are absolutely in no control of yourself whatsoever. You're just either trying to just regain the loss that you made on that particular day or you are uh, thus the second point is you are just addicted and just randomly playing the trades. So you need to understand the fact that you are not going to get rich in one day. And that is why you need to remove the thought from your mind that you are going to get rich quick because that is exactly the reason why 95% of the people we talk about lose money in trading because they feel trading is something that can just double their money within few days or few weeks. But that is not how it works. Instead, 
trading is a process in a is a slow process that makes you money it is not a get rich quick uh, quick scheme it is rather a get rich slow scheme so the slower you go the slower you approach towards market the higher chance you have of getting successful into markets because when you go slow when you approach the markets in a very gentle and slow way you do not have the thought of getting rich quick and that when you remove that thought of getting rich quick markets become a lot easier to trade uh, especially when you do not have those thoughts running in your mind because you do not run behind money and then you can easily focus on your setups now let's understand the second point what can you do if you are addicted to trading now addiction is the worst part because running behind money can be still controlled but addiction is something which is very difficult to control once you once you get addicted to anything be it smoking be it porn be it trading it's just addictions are worst so now it is all up to you see you have to understand the fact that addictions are bad and there's no one to help you because addictions are such things that you are the only person in control you are the only person in charge and you are the only person that can help yourself so be it a cigarette addiction be it a game addiction be it a trading addiction it is only you that you can help yourself or you are the only person to take yourself out of the mud and you need to understand that because addictions are bad and they can literally destroy one's life so i cannot help you with addictions to be very honest because trading is a kind of addiction after one point almost everyone gets addicted to trading there's a quote called once a trader always a trader because once you trade markets it is almost impossible to retreat back and not trade again for the rest of your life so yes we in a sense we all are addicted to markets because we all get up in the morning and see the markets and trade it but the real addiction starts when you are not able to control what you are doing so at that point if you are at that point maybe just take a break for few days maybe just try avoiding markets and trying to understand the fact that markets are not going anywhere they are they are here for your lifetime is what probably going to help you in solving the addiction so now let's understand how to control over trading see again over trading is again basically done for these two major reasons either to make money quickly or you are addicted so you as i told you you are not getting rich in one day so you need to define your setup you need to define those rules uh which will stop you from over trading so like in my case when i was struggling with over trading and yes trust me over trading is a problem that almost everyone faces there's no person who does not face this problem so when i was struggling with over trading problem what i did was i set a number of uh, trades for myself on daily basis so that i i said to myself hey okay i am going to take only three trades a day so when i do three trades a day i'm not going to punch four trade no matter how good the setup is so what that uh, technically did is it essentially forced me to punch quality trades it essentially made me focus on the setups and ignore all the noise or ignore all those little little trades that i used to punch and focus only on quality trades because i knew that once i am done with the third trade for the day and if i get the fourth fourth trade for the day which is a, a very high probability setup i'm not going to trade it so yes you can set rules like this but again trust me making rules is pretty easy following them is probably the key so if if you make a rule that hey i'm going to punch not more than five trades in a day or not more than three trades in a day but you are still punching 10 trades in a day then that is useless so you are making rules you need to follow them if you are not able to follow your own rules then don't expect markets to give you anything as a reward because if discipline is missing trust me there is no profession in the world that can give you rewards for it so discipline is must patience is must emotional control is must we, we talk about all these things all the time but we talk about those things because they are the reason why successful people become successful in markets so i hope you understand this i hope you learned something out of this video and if you did then make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel because i keep coming back with such content related to trading trading psychology trading consistency success failures and all those things and make sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then bye bye take care peace out hey guys this is just a quick update about the courses that are being launched So from 3rd of October 2021 we are launching two new courses the first one being the advanced trading psychology course 
Now this course is for those who have been struggling in market since last two years, three years, four years and are not able to break through the resistance zone of the markets. They are doing everything right. They have the risk management, they have position sizing but still are not able to figure out why it is not working for them. According to me, what they are lacking is probably trading psychology because they are still thinking like retailers and until and unless you don't think like operators, you are not going to make any money. So trading psychology course will teach you to how to think like big money, how to think like operators, how to think like smart money and that is important because until and unless you do that, you are not going to make any money in the markets. So this course will have main webinar on Sunday that is 3rd of October and then on every damn tradable day that is every trading day we are going to have a 30 minutes live session post market to understand what happened on that day so it is going to be a lot of fun it is going to be 20 22 days of live webinar every day live webinar just not on sundays and saturdays so i hope to handhold and teach you guys the trading psychology thing and then the beginners course is there which is actually pre-recorded but it is still a very good course because i have covered everything that a beginner should know and i keep updating that course with live market examples so do check out the link is in the description thank you over trading is a termite over trading is a termite that